All right, this is my homemade tennis ball launcher. I've been working on it for the past couple months now. Um, first welding project, so don't judge the welding, but basically, uh, I've welded up this metal frame that holds these two Ryobi 12 volt DC angle grinders as my motors. And I've got some five inch diameter bench grinder wheels um, attached to the five eight inch bore. And then I just got some of those rubbery Livestrong generic bracelets to stretch over them to kind of give it a better grip. Um, the angle grinders are bolted to the frame. These hose clamps are just for added stability here. Um, you can see that it's on a rectangular frame and I've got it being able to swivel um, both horizontally here, left and right, and also vertically um, on this axis. The vertical oscillation is controlled through this 550 RPM uh, 12 volt DC uh, motor and it's just coupled to a quarter inch threaded rod threads through that nut which I have attached to the frame right here as the rod spins forward it will go up and as it spins backwards it goes down I'll show you what that looks like and it's going up and then it's going back down um, so I can kind of adjust that manually to get the different kind of shots that I want um, the horizontal oscillation is controlled through that motor there. I think I've got a, a 2 RPM, 12 volt DC attached there. Um, and I've got it set up to where I can adjust it both uh, manually through this uh, rocker switch and also automatically um, to where it'll go back and forth about every three seconds. And uh, that's adjustable so I can kind of get the right angle I need so it's not shooting away off the court. Um, but that's basically the gist of that. And then uh, the ball is, or first the, the angle grinders I've got attached to these two uh, 12 volt DC speed controllers. So um, their controls are right here and I can adjust the speed of the wheels individually. Um, these LEDs look really weird on camera, I'm not sure why, but that'll tell me out of 100% how fast it's going. And I can get the wheels to spin, um, get the bottom one going as well. And you can see that, you see that spinning there. The ball can get fed down through that chute, uh, right between those two wheels. and. I've got it set up to where the balls are in here. It's got about a 30 ball capacity, not huge, but that's enough to tire me out. Um, basically, I've got this disc in here with two holes in it. One picks up a ball and loads it and drops it in. The other one goes around. Um, I'll kind of show you what that looks like. As you can see, here's my control panel. That turns on the... Uh, the speeder uh, mechanism and I can adjust the speed of that. Um, I'm going to have it on full speed right now. So you can see it kind of is rotating. Um, I can drop a ball in there. It'll drop it down, feed it through the tube and shoot it out. And there goes my dog to get it. Um, so that's basically the uh, basics of it. I'll load a few in just to kind of show you how, how it shoots and you can see that horizontal oscillation. I don't have it totally dialed in yet, so I might shoot a few off the court, but um, here it goes. Get this where we want it, right there. Get that speed up just a little bit. Yep, that one's off. There's a better one. Oh, it's out. Yep, all out. So that's basically the gist of it. Um, so I can play 30 balls at a time. Uh, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll try to post more videos when I have time. Alright, thanks.